Eeveelutions are one of the many things about the Pokemon franchise that we all love. The possibility that with every new generation there could be a brand new Eeveelution is just one of the best things about it. However though, when you look at all of the Eeveelutions side by side, which is the worst and which is the best? Well in today's video I'm going to be ranking every Eeveelution from the worst to the best. Now of course this is all my own opinion at the end of the day and it's completely cool if you guys disagree with what I say in the video. Don't hesitate though to drop a comment down below about the video and if you found it interesting or not. Don't forget to leave a like on this video too to show your support and I'll be sure to bring out a new video very shortly. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to keep up to date and follow my Twitter to updates about the channel. Both of those links can be found in the description down below. Now without further ado, let's get into the video and I really hope that you guys enjoy. So starting things off, the worst Eeveelution has to be Eevee. Now I know it's technically not an Eeveelution, but I feel like if I didn't include it in the video, everyone would have come at me with pitchforks and stuff and I'd be like, I'm sorry. So yes, it's not technically an Eeveelution, but it's still part of the Eevee family. So I'm just going to include it anyway, but obviously it's not one of the main ones. But anyway, Eevee is obviously my favorite Pokemon. I love everything about it, but that doesn't mean that it's great. I mean, it has an amazing Z move, no, don't get me wrong. And it is such a cool Pokemon because like I say, it's got the premise of just being able to evolve into like a brand new Eeveelution with every new generation that you know comes out so yeah that's a lot of things going for Eevee but unfortunately in the competitive scene I mean it wasn't great before Zebu's not too much I mean yes it does have wish and everything like that which obviously all the evolutions do learn but then it got Z-move obviously getting plus to it every single stat was incredible it has one of the best Zemu animations as well but it's still not as good as the other evolutions which is why I do believe Eevee is the worst technically not evolution but still part of the family for this video Next up though, we do have Glaceon. Now Glaceon is a very nice special attacking Pokemon. It has 130 special attack, 110 physical defense, and 95 special defense with 65 HP. So it's got some very nice bulk to this Pokemon. And of course, it's very hard on the special side as well. However, though, it does only have 65 speed, meaning it is going to get outsped by a lot of Pokemon. And of course, Glaceon is an ice type, meaning that it only resists ice, but is weak to fire, fighting, rock, and steel. All of those types are very prominent prominent in the competitive scene. Pretty much nowadays, every Pokemon's running a fire type move, or fighting type move, or like close combat or Mac punch, rock type, stealth rocks ain't great, and then steel is obviously a very good typing just in general. So all of those things being super effective against Glaceon isn't great. Yes, it does have the bulk, but you know, it can't really outspeed anything, so it's gonna get hit. It gets some really cool moves, don't get me wrong, and it's a very nice Pokemon. And again, it can hit very hard on the special side of things. All the evolutions are good, and it does get priority in like Ice Shard and like that, but of course its physical stack is only 60, meaning you're probably not going to run that but uh, at the end of the day it's a good pokemon it's just not as good as the rest because of these drawbacks like i say the typing isn't great and the speed stat isn't great as well if it was a fast ice type then maybe it'd be able to have some leeway but it isn't that which is why it's not a great pokemon Coming up next, we have Flareon. Now, Flareon is a very good physically attacking Pokemon, but just like Glaceon, only has 65 speed. It has 130 physical attack, 60 physical defense, which ain't great. 110 special defense with 95 special attack. So you could run a special Flareon if you really wanted to. It is fire, so obviously does resist grass, ice, bug, steel, and fairy, and is weak to water, ground, and rock. It does have the flash fire ability, though, meaning it can be immune to fire type attacks, but a lot of people tend to run Guts on it instead because Guts is just so much better. If you don't know what Guts does, basically raises the ability barriers attacked by 50% when inflicted by a major status condition such as poison, burn, paralysis, freeze or sleep. Obviously it can't get burned and obviously if you sleep you can't hit things but you know if you get paralyzed or poisoned a lot of people tend to obviously just run toxic up on this Pokemon but it hits super hard with things like flare blitz something like that it does so much damage guts boosted you know stab everything like that 130 physical attack in a flare blitz does a lot from flare on but of course it doesn't have the greatest speed it doesn't have the greatest physical defense it isn't as good as the other evolutions but still can hit very hard and I like Flareon. Coming up next, we have Umbreon. Now, Umbreon is a very bulky Pokemon, as we all know. 95 HP, 110 physical defense, and 130 special defense. It's a dark type as well. It doesn't have the greatest abilities being synchronized and inner focus, but it's just an amazing looking Pokemon. It's definitely one of my more favorite evolutions. My love for this Pokemon grew even more when I played through Pokemon Coliseum. It's an incredible Pokemon. It can take so many hits. It can take close combats left, right, and center. This Pokemon is so bulky. And of course, it does get beautiful recovery in Moonlight as well, making this Pokemon really annoying to go actually go up against it's such a toxic stalling pokemon it does get pursuit as well if you wanted to try and you know pursuit trap a pokemon in but it's just a very good pokemon it hits super hard it gets wish as well if you want to you know play around that it also gets heal bell it's just a very nice you know passive pokemon 
to bulk up, you know, it just takes some hits if you want to like heal your Pokemon in game or if you're just in like an actual online battle then just to maybe wish up another Pokemon. All that, you can just Toxic Stall, it's just a good Pokemon what it does, it's super bulky but that's kind of all it does have, it's not a very offensive Pokemon. Coming up next, we have Leafeon now. Some of you guys might be quite surprised that Leafeon's so high on this list, and I was as well, to be fair. When I was looking at all the different evolutions before making this video, I was surprised how good Leafeon actually is. Leafeon has 110 physical attack, 130 physical defense with 95 speed. It does only have 65 HP and special defense, but it also gets the ability Chlorophyll. Now, Chlorophyll doubles the ability bearer speed during bright sunshine, so if you've got a Pokemon with Drought, such as Ninetales, Mega Charizard Y, something like that, you can bring the Drought in and then you know, Leafeon's speed gets doubled to 190, which is crazy. And when you have 110 physical attack as well, that's hitting really hard. And this Pokemon can also learn Swords Dance as well. So if you've got a plus two Leaf Blade on anything, you're going to be outspeeding everything. It's just going to do so much damage. Yes, Grass isn't the greatest, you know, typing out there. But, you know, Leafeon can learn other moves as well, such as X Scissor. You know, it also gets Aerial Ace. I know it gets Shadow Ball, which obviously isn't physical. But it gets, obviously, Giga Drain as well for that recovery. It also gets Seed Bomb. It gets Knock Off. Iron Tail Knock Off going to hit super hard. And it's just a very good Pokemon in general. I really like it. I, I don't know why people don't give it enough, like, love and support. Because it's just a very good Pokemon. I really like Leafeon. Come up next, we have Espeon, my favorite evolution. Now, Espeon is a psychic type Pokemon, meaning it is weak to bug, ghost, and dark, and does resist fighting and psychic. It has the magic bounce ability, which makes this Pokemon so good, because it basically reflects status change moves, such as, you know, Thunder Wave, and it also reflects hazards, such as Stealth Rocks and Spikes, meaning that if you've got an Espeon on your team, your opponent has to be very cautious when trying to set up the hazards. They have to get rid of your Espeon first, because it's so dangerous, you know, trying to set up Stealth Rocks when you have a Pokemon that could easily switch in and just bounce them straight back. So it's very strategic kind of play. Also, Espeon hits super hard, let me just say. 130 special attack, 95 special defense with 110 speed. So it's very fast. It's very hard, like Psychic, Shadow Ball, you know, Dazzling Gleam for Dragons, whatever floats your boat. It also gets Morning Sun for recovery, but I don't think you're going to be using that anytime soon because, you know, Espeon's physical stats aren't great with 60 defense and 65 HP. It's not great, but, you know, its main job is to bounce back, you know, those status moves, everything like that. Also, it hits super hard. You can Choice Specs this thing. You can Choice Scarf it, whatever floats your boat. It's just a very good Pokemon. And I really like Espeon, and of course it's in Colosseum, which is one of my favorite games of all time. Coming up next, we have Vaporeon, the water type evolution with the water absorb ability. Obviously very nice, because a Pokemon with water absorb heals a quarter of its maximum HP when hit by a water type attack, basically giving you that water immunity, something else that you got to play around if you're going up against a Vaporeon. But Vaporeon, of course, is super bulky with 130 HP. It only has 60 physical defense, 95 special defense, so an 110 special attack. It isn't super fast with only 65 speed, but your main thing with Vaporeon is just the bulk up setup, hit things hard with Scald, you know, recover, and it's just a very good Pokemon. I think it's just kind of a better Umbreon. It has, you know, less weaknesses, only electric and grass. It has the immunity. I know Umbreon has immunity, but, you know, getting that health back with Water Absorber is very good. And it also resists uh, Fire, Ice, and Seal, which is also very nice. And hits super hard with that 110 special attack. Super bulky. I just love Vaporeon in general. It's a very, very good Pokemon. I love the shiny form of it, let me just say that. But it's just a very good Pokemon at the end of the day. You know, it's not just an evolution. It's just a very good water type. Like I said, Scald can obviously get a you know, burst chance which is incredible and that's not all it gets it obviously gets ice beam which kind of makes it a more reliable pokemon to use than glaceon because glaceon's main you know thing is to hit things hard with ice beam when you know vaporeon only gets 20 less special attack points i know it isn't a stab on vaporeon but you're much gonna rather use vaporeon than glaceon that's why a lot of people tend to use that instead of glaceon but and it also gets aurora beam as well gets muddy water gets hydro pump all these different moves this is a very good pokemon and i am a big fan of vaporeon Coming up next, we have Jolteon, another Pokemon that has that immunity to its actual typing, being electric with the Volt Absorb. Very nice there. It's only weak to ground, actually. Resist Flying Steel, like I said, is immune to electric. Now, obviously, a lot of people love running Jolteon as a very fast, hard-hitting Pokemon. It has 130 speed, 95 special defense, and 110 special attack. So a lot of people love just running a Choice Specs on this Pokemon just because it's so fast already with 130 speed. You can, you know, rely on that extra damage on the special side of things. So you run a Choice Specs. You can hit things with Thunderbolt, Volts, which is another, you know, fan favorite, getting that switch initiative, has Shadow Paul, HP Ice is another thing a lot of people love running on Jolteon to take on, like, Garchomps and, you know, Pokemon that are just generally four times weak to Ice, like Flygon or Salamence, something like that. 
and that's kind of what this Pokemon does and it doesn't have a huge role to play you know it just it's a fast Pokemon it sweeps teams it can if all the Pokemon are nearly dead Thunderbolt hits super hard a choice specs Thunderbolt with this Pokemon hits super hard a lot of people like running Discharge as well for that paralysis chance but uh, you know this thing just hits super hard and I'm a big fan of Jolteon it's definitely one of my you know more loved evolutions Finishing things off though, as the best evolution so far, in my opinion, has to be Sylveon. Sylveon is incredible. It's got an amazing typing in Fairy, meaning it is only weak to Poison and Steel and resist Fighting, Dark Bug, and of course is immune to Dragon. It has 110 special attack with 130 special defense, so it's super bulky on the special side, so it has 95 HP as well. Only 65 physical defense, so it's not going to appreciate an Iron Head or a Bullet Punch anytime soon. But of course, the main standing point of this Pokemon is the Pixelate ability. Causes all normal type attacking moves used by the ability bearer to become Fairy type. So obviously, I'm pretty sure you've seen a hyper voice sylveon left right and center you know this thing hits so hard a stab hyper voice with 110 special attack hits so much damage and it's just bulky as well with 130 spe special defense and 95 hp nothing more i can really say about this pokemon it's just very very good like i say it's not just an evolution it's definitely one of the you know the best pokemon in the game in my opinion is very good you know barring legendaries and mega evolutions and you know mythicals and everything like that it's a very very good pokemon nobody wants to take a stab hyper voice from this pokemon and it's so bulky it's got recovery as well in wish it's just really annoying to go up against and i really really like sylveon but with that though it does wrap up today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did making it. if you did enjoy the video though please do leave a like i would really appreciate it like i said at the start of the video i would also love to hear your guys opinions too on the subject so be sure to leave them in the comment section below i do also have a couple of the ranking videos coming onto your screen in a second so if you enjoyed this one be sure to check them out and of course subscribe if you want more ranking videos i do this quite a lot on the channel it's a new series i've started and you guys tend to like it and i'm having a lot of fun making them that is everything from me though guys thank you so much for watching have an amazing rest of your day and until next time guys peace